Hello all, we are going to review the UmiDigi U-Watch 2 smartwatch slash fitness tracker. So you get a nice little square box with a thank you from UmiDigi for purchasing the product. Uh, scan codes to follow them on social media if you wish. You get a pretty thick manual with it. Inside the manual there is going to be another scan code to download the app. The app that you're going to use with this watch is called The Fit. Um, you can find it in the Play Store if you want to check it out prior to buying any of the watches. It's a bit of a generic app that you can use with various smart watches and fitness trackers that are on the market today. So here's the manual. You got your color picture showing you how to operate and use this smart watch. Watch itself comes pre-installed with the metallic strap and uh, magnetic claps to hold it in place but if you choose to change that they also give you this silicone wristband to use or as they call it the uh, sport band there's also an extra two pins in there uh, don't know if that's a technical term but that's why I'm calling them uh, that's in case you want to get a third party band so let's take this out and take a look at it there's the watch face I've been using more or less the square one because I found the circular ones that you can download and use on here just seem too small to me because they're a smaller circle within a larger circle. That's mainly because of the display size. I don't know if I can get that to show on here the outlines of the actual LCD or not. But moving into there, you have this uh, recap of your training. Uh, I was playing around with it, so I got like a whole 11 seconds there. It's blowing your mind, I know. Here's the step count that I have for today. The sleeping, I didn't wear this when I was sleeping last night because I was charging it. Uh, I've used 5% so far. Uh, most of that has been just playing around with it for this review, to be honest. Uh, I was at 99% when I got home, and that's from this morning about 6 a.m. till uh, after 6 p.m. I only used about 1% of the battery life. I didn't use it when I was walking as far as trying to play uh, music because I, I didn't have my headset with me but this watch does allow you to control various phone functions you can get messages here you can check your weather you can control the phone's camera and of course the player I use this probably more than anything else uh, the weather is nice you can get a forecast for the whole week just about Other items you have on here is just a regular timer. You have your settings. You can mute your notifications. You can set the brightness. I had to actually turn mine all the way up when I was using this during my walks at lunchtime. The default is about halfway. That wasn't enough in direct sunlight. I just couldn't see this thing. So I had to turn it all the way up to be able to see it. You can change your watch uh, face styles if you wanted to. I think you got like three different ones here at a time. I would just stick to what I have. And then the other uh, items that you have on here is your training. Uh, I was playing around with this earlier as I stated. Football, which is actually soccer here. Basketball, badminton, skipping or jump rope. Um, skip some there, didn't I? Yeah, some walking, biking or uh, running. You have a heart rate monitor, you have blood pressure monitor, and blood oxygen. Not really sure how accurate those would be, but they're there. The watch itself has an IP67 rating. I did get mine uh, a bit wet one time. I dried it off and it was fine. The watch also has a bit of a LED up here. I don't know if it's just one LED or several, but when you plug it in, you see these dots up here will light up. Um, you also see that when you get a message or a phone call that those uh, light up briefly. Uh, actually, I think during the phone call and messaging, they're, they're flashing. During the charge, they just stay on. That pretty much is the watch. Uh, as I said, this one came with the um, steel band already installed, and it has a nice little magnet claps on there. It works a little better than I actually thought it would. Now, as far as downloading the app, goes, the app again is called The Fit. It will pair with your phone and set your phone up for you. You can see it has you watch here. 
Uh, you have settings on here. You can download different faces. There's one of the round ones that uh, I was saying that don't really look that great on there because it looks like a smaller face inside a large blotch. But you can download any of these and pick whatever you like and have it on there. You also get to set which notifications you want to send to your phone from the various apps that you have. Uh, keep in mind that it only keeps the three most recent notifications. You can set alarms if you wish. You can set the shutter and oh just so you know on alarms it what it does is it actually vibrates there, there's no sound coming from it in case you were wondering. Others is where you will set your unit system. I've had to set mine to the British system because we don't use the metric system here in the US. Uh, same with weather I had to change the temperature to Fahrenheit instead of Celsius because this by default will have those other settings in there. Your upgrade will not uh, it isn't so much for the app itself, but for your watch. It actually sends the firmware updates to your watch. Uh, I have one right out the box when I had it. And then you have your other settings for, for uh, or say, your tracking throughout the day of what you've been doing. And you can always click on one of these just to see how well it is, uh, what, what trends you have. And in a way, this is kind of similar to what Fitbit uses. Prior to using this, I was using my Fitbit Charge 2, which I bought maybe, let's see, this was maybe about uh, a year and a half ago or so. And this one happens to be the Gunmetal series that was running about $179.99, brand new. I was able to find it at Micro Center for about uh, half the price, I believe. Uh, which seemed like a pretty good deal at the time, but for under thirty dollars, this watch really does pretty much everything this guy does, and maybe even a little extra. It's definitely got a uh, on uh, on par as far as battery life, maybe even a little better than that. Um, so for thirty bucks, I, I say it deserves it deserves a look at. So if you're interested in it, uh, I, I I think you will be happy with it. I forgot to mention the charger which USB and a magnetic part that just sticks on the back here in the charging port. I almost completely forgot to mention that part. So of course with the magnetic charger one thing that you have to watch for is it will get stuck on your band because your band's metal as well. <laughs> the thing oh there you always telling me to walk around and sit in your tongue. So uh Forgot to mention that it has those uh, those reminders as well. So there you have it. I hope this video helps you in making your decision. Have a good day.